So many outbreaks, so many recalls, and even two people died. Someone did mention um, medications coming in at it. Even with tomatoes, this is not usual. I mean, I know we be low over here in my parts of New Jersey, but. All right, so our background video choice today is the day we went to Sam's Club. You guys check in, of course. Let us know where you're watching from and how you're doing. As usual, I'm checking in from New Jersey. So, yes, our background video, if you are interested in seeing the full video uh, without all the pop-ups all over the screen of me covering everything um, in this Saturday's report, it will be in the pinned comment down below. Hey, fam. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be doing our news, comments, and reports like we do every single Saturday. This is Shauna, and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments With Us. You guys, check in. Let us know where you are watching from and how you are doing we're going to make this video a little snippy snippy today. Hopefully, you can find some information worth watching. And if you're new and you enjoy what you're watching today, go ahead and subscribe. You guys help us out with the likes. I truly appreciate it. And want to thank you all in advance for coming along. Let's get today's video started because what are we waiting for? So first and foremost, let's jump right into today's recalls. So a sweeping recall of cheese and other dairy products linked to listeria outbreaks is expanding um, to include snacks, dips, dressing, wraps, salad, and taco kits sold at major retailers including Amazon, Costco, Sprouts, Farmer's Market, Trader Joe's, and Walmart. Also, it was Whole Foods. Um, any item that actually have the Cojita cheese now have been recalled so here's a recall that's spreading so far the states where people have taken ill include eight in california four in arkansas and colorado and two residents in tennessee and two in texas one person got six in each of the following half a dozen states florida georgia nevada north carolina oregon and washington and so far i believe there's two deaths linked to this open and ongoing recall so here's one item um, that if you have it, toss it out. It's called the Perfect Bite Company. It does contain that cojita cheese. Um, might want to toss it out. It's the Mexican style street corn bites. So the initial recall included 10 types of cheeses produced by Rizzo Lopez. So if you see that, toss it out. Um, at this point, anything that contain it, toss it out. Some of these, I might mess up. I might mess up that pronunciation. So you might want to just look at the screen. So produced by Rizzo Lopez, the Blanco Suave, the Cojita Oaxaca, Panela, the Queso Cream, Queso Fresco, Queso Parafra, the Queso Seco, um, Ricotta, according to the CDC. The cheese is sold nationwide under many, many brands. So you're going to be looking for these. And it's under Rizzo Lopez. Toss it out. So foods containers, the company's recall it recalled cheese, um, cream of yogurt include salads, salad kits, tacos, taco kits, burritos, enchiladas, sandwiches, dressings, sauces, and dips, all also sold under many different brands such as Whole Foods Markets, with products being recalled on a nearly daily basis. Another one, the ricotta cheese here, have been recalled, the 365 one. If you have it, toss it out. Um I'm going to go ahead and actually look at this. Another prepared um, dish here. Already here. This is a recalled Southwest chicken wrap with sauce sold at Costco Warehouse. Toss it out. I'm going to go ahead and put this link and a pinned comment down below. Being that this is such a large article with some real information. Like if you have these items, you might want to get rid of it. Really take your time and go through this to make sure that you don't have anything in your pantry or have bought, you know, your freezer, whatever. If you do have it, just toss it out because it's not worth you getting sick and possibly being on near to de death basis. Um, we want to put this article in the pinned comment down below because when it comes to your health, it is not a game. So let's go on and check to see what is the next recall about. Oh man, so many people do pick up the Walmart salad kits. Guess what? Now, another recall. So, Walmart salad kits have been recalled due to another deadly listeria outbreak, y'all. So, if y'all have them, toss them out. So, the, U 
the U.S. Food and Drug Administration recently announced that Telefresh Foods voluntary recalls its market side bacon ranch crunch salad kit sold at Walmart due to possible listeria contamination. It seems like listeria is on the rise and it's definitely sweeping across across the map and across our grocery store. So definitely, if you're not into looking at your open recalls, definitely something, you know, worth doing if you can get the recall sent directly to your email every time it's a recall i think it's an emergency something i'll find it and um put it here it's emergency recall something and every little recall bing is right to your email stay up to date with that because i'm seeing that a lot of these recalls are actually taking some people out so if you have it toss it out so the salad kit here so which products are required are Included in the recall, according to the company's announcement, the recall product market side bacon ranch crunch chopped salad kit was sold in a 12.76 ounces with the UPC 681131305440 um, cold date starting with CFRS and best if used by February 21st in the upper right hand corner. And here's what it looked like. And I see these salad kits every time I first walk in Walmart is to the left. So this is something that's definitely big Um, when it comes down to produce. Produce is not only running low in a lot of different stores, but now we have to really worry about these recalls spreading. So definitely stay up to date with your open recalls because you do not want to get sick. I'm telling you guys, this listeria is on the rise. So pork and ham recall as fears grow over a listeria outbreak, y'all. So uh, Miami, Florida. A Miami, Florida-based producer of Cuban-style cured meats is recalling about 9,330 pounds of ready-to-eat. I don't want to sign up. Um, ready-to-eat products after a sample was found to contain listeria, a potentially deadly bacteria. It is a deadly bacteria. So an alert issued on Thursday, the federal agency announced that Don Nova and Son was recalling five products over concerns they may have been contaminated. So concerned that some products may be in retailers and consumers, refrigerators, and or freezers. It's urged anyone who have had bought the product under the recall to not eat them and to return them to where they have been purchased for that refund. And here's what it looked like. Here's the picture. Jamin Douce, something like that. Um, here's the picture here. So it's the ready to eat, ready to go meats. So the Don Nova and Son pork and ham recall fear over listeria outbreak. So definitely if you have some, toss it out. And of course, those are the ready to eat meats pictures here with the names of everything that you need. Um, so it's the ham and the pork. Um, 9,330 pounds of ready to eat meat, um, possibly contaminated with listeria. So that's the Don Nova chorizo fully cooked, as well as Don Nova Castillas, Amuras, smoked pork ribs, all. So further, the company called back 1.5. Um, pounds of shrink wrap packages of the Don Nova Lama Ohumado smoked pork line, um, 5.4 pounds and a 5.5 pound shrink wrap packages of the Don Nova Martello Cubana Cuban brand. You guys, I know I'm pronouncing these words wrong. Um, Mortadilla and the four, the 5.4 uh, pound to 5.5 pound shrink wrap packages containing the Don Nova Martadella Cubana Cuban brand Martadella. All impacted products come with the expiry date of 3-30-2024. All these products were produced on December 21st and the establishment number is 34257. Definitely, once again, toss it out. So symptoms for listeria includes fever, muscle aches, headache, stiff neck, confusion, loss of balance. In general, if you're not feeling right after consuming something, and you might want to go ahead and get yourself checked out. Those symptoms are very relevant, but like I said, if you're just feeling off and you're feeling nauseous and you're feeling sick, it could be because of something you possibly ate. 
So I know a lot of us do have children. Maybe you have grandchildren, nieces and nephews or whatever. Um, This need to be taken serious. Definitely, guys, talk to your children. Talk to the younger ones in your family. Talk to your friends who have children. Talk to them to talk to their children because this is something that's going around for real. And it's really serious. You never know what someone is lacing um, these items with. And kids are willingly willing to take items from other children. And it's not good. Definitely, if you guys have children that do go to public school, they're not homeschool, and you don't know what's going on, this have been a thing lately. It's either vapes or children actually bringing gummies to school. So what's gummies? So gummies is actually infused candies um, infused with cannabis. So definitely um, talk to your kids about this stuff. So we gummies brought to New Jersey school for Valentine's Day, and four kids are now hospitalized. So certain shortages that have been brung up. So so tractor supply over in western Washington. Um someone did share a photo with growing concerns over dog food. So a shortage of dog food and how much dog food do cost now. I've been seeing only some people, not a lot, not so many as last year about gaps with dog food. We've been seeing pet food here. There's gaps off and on, don't get me wrong. But for the most part, they do have pet food ready and available in a lot of stores that I do go into. It definitely depends where I'm at, though. Um, so definitely growing concerns still about this whole pet food. Um, some of the concerns from last year was, oh, my pets are not eating the food. My pets are not eating the food. So I'm definitely hearing that come back as well. I'm starting to hear pet owners say that uh, again. My pet is not eating the food. But a lot of people learn from that and just started making their own pet food at home. But the price of pet food in general did jump. Um, For those of you who do have pet owners, check in. What are you guys doing about your pet food? Are you still buying the same pet food? Have you resorted to a cheaper um, alternative? Are you making it at home? What are you doing to make sure your pets are still fed as well? We also all know as we see certain shortages, we also see ingredients changing on items. And here's how one person felt, and as I'm sure many of you guys feel as well. So one person did share the quality is even worse than the price to me. I'm amazed at how much there are cutting costs with really cheap ingredients that often aren't really even meant to be food. I can't eat hardly anything from the store anymore without getting sick. We grow our own veggies and raise our own meat. And when I run out of something and buy it from the store, it just tastes gross now. We were on a va on vacation and I bought some Velveeta cheese. Ugh, I used to love that cheese, but listen, y'all. I bought some Velveeta cheese to make a Rotel dip with. We couldn't even eat it, and we all love it. A year ago, it was good. But whatever they've done to the Velveeta now, it's just nasty. And I think, Miss Tonette, I believe that you can definitely relate because I remember you actually mentioning um something about how you used to buy maybe a few items, and then you go back, and now the problem have MSGs. And, now, and that's something that you cannot have without, you know, it affecting you. And it really sucks because the ingredients on items are changing. And if you're not a person that's flipping over that packaging and reading them labels, you won't even know. You know, you'll just go ahead and consume the item and then boom, you're falling sick because you're thinking it's still the same. A lot of people think it's still the same ingredients from before. There's a lot of fillers and a lot of things changing when it comes down to food, you know, being put on our shelves, especially box foods, processed foods, foods that you want to stockpile. If you have a family full of allergies and, you know, a, a, a lot of issues with their digestive system, whatever. You might want to go ahead and start flipping over them labels, especially even for products that you know that you once could consume mm. and you probably not be able to consume it the next day or month or your next shopping trip, whenever, mm. because ingredients are being changed just that fast. So that's something to definitely watch out for and be careful with. Thank you so much for sharing.
here's a lot of um here's a dilemma for a lot of families here so finally reached to the point where for two weeks now there have not been any decent sales at the grocery store in town it's not worth the 40 mile trip for about the last six months i've pretty much only bought things on sale or clearance i'm in the colorado mountain so people who live like so if you do live in a small town and you do travel out just to get groceries or whatever it is that you need and you're not really seeing sales like that what is your only option and i say for this situation better to be prepared just in case you do run into an issue like that at least you know you do have you know items at home and you can do without for a while or whatever else um when you have a stockpile you know that you can always rely on your stockpile that's the purpose of it stockpiling financial hardship things going on in the world today just in case you're locked in you're sick can't make it to the grocery store you don't want to drive that 40 miles to get to the grocery store you can rely on your stockpile but this is a real issue a lot of people who do live in small towns and let's say they're not farming gardening or whatever it is and they do rely on them grocery stores they're not getting sales like that not only one they have to fill up their tank just to make their trip for the grocery store um they get there and then there's no really real reasonable prices versus a city people we can shop at multiple stores and just kind of go through the sales is it worth buying here is it worth buying there we can actually pick and choose versus people who have to really travel for you know just for a few items this is real problems that people are really if you do live in those kind of deserted areas, what are some things that you do or some items that you make sure you pick up every single shopping trip just in case you can't, one, afford to make that um 40-mile shopping trip or two, you ain't got the money to go ahead and get food when it's not on sale. What are some items you make sure you pick up, especially when it's on sale? Of course, let us know in the comments down below because your comment might help the next person we're gonna leave this video right here where it's at you guys stay ahead of the game stay prepared do what you can while you can do it don't overstress yourself please don't overstress yourself you can only do what you can do and it is what it is we're gonna go ahead and do a part two just for the comments alone because there's still some comments that i want to touch base on um i want to get to you guys personally and we're going to go ahead and take care of a video for that so you guys stay tuned for that as well so fam have an amazing amazing rest of your weekend leaving it right here where it's at enjoy the rest of your saturday this is shauna and i'm officially checking out from moments with us make sure you all stay prepped of course stay blessed of course and stay safe most of all remain beautiful queens and kings until next time y'all i'm officially up out of here peace out peace Thank you all for tuning in. Turn the notification bell on and subscribe so you can go ahead and tune in for the next video.